Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamer Reality. In this video, I wanted to share something with you that is very recent, very new, very fresh. You know, this is this is crazy. I never usually make videos that are, you know, up to date, really, really close to when they're actually coming out. So this is new for me. SideQuest, which is the app that I use and many other users use to get apps onto their Oculus Quest via computer and cable. So it's an amazing app and it just got an update specifically focusing on Beat Saber. And guess what they brought? Guess what they brought to the new version of SideQuest? They brought mods, they, they did it. They did it, I know, <laughs> I know it's crazy, but they brought mods to the, they brought mods to the Oculus Quest Beat Saber edition. They brought, I think, one sword and a hit score visualizer. So I'm gonna be trying those out for you guys today, downloading them on my Quest, kind of telling you the little process, the little tutorial part, and then actually just showing you and trying it out for myself and seeing what I think. But before I do that, go ahead and go down below and make sure to subscribe to me, Gamer Reality, because I make a bunch of awesome virtual reality videos like these for you guys to watch. So let's jump right in. All right, guys, I have my Oculus Quest plugged in. And so now, as you can see, I have like all these apps downloaded. I've tried almost all of them. Very great apps. Um, also, I'll be able to record higher quality on the Oculus Quest because I have been able to go to tools and then upgrade the um, capture video bitrate to 25 megabytes per second. So I think that is an upgrade, which is really cool to see. And now we can go up here to Beat Saber custom levels. And this is where you originally did it, but right next to it is Beat On. And so I just installed it and uh, turned it on and everything. Very easy, it does it all by itself. All you have to say is just download, download it. You know, So it, they don't really make it clear, go up there and download it. And then of course you can support them on PayPal. Um, it makes sure to do that if you feel like it. Just install Beat Saber from the Oculus Quest store on the headset. And that's because I deleted it. Um, you do get all your progress reset unless you save the files to the SD card. I didn't really feel like doing that because I don't have much progress on my Oculus Quest version. And uh, But if you do, if you have like 3000 maps or whatever and you wanna save the high scores that you have on them, then definitely make sure to do that. But there is a way to download, um, there is a way to download the files onto the SD card and save it. Okay, Beat Saber is now installed on my Oculus Quest and now there's an option here called Install Beat On and this is what I'm going to click because it's what I need. Also, I can back up my Beat Saber data, but I didn't really save it, so I won't go through that process. All right, Beat On is installed currently on my device, which is very nice. Currently, when we click um, open beat on, it asks us to upload files. So I'm pretty sure that it means that we need to go to the files on their website, on their releases page um, from GitHub. Let's see here. So yeah, here, here they are. So there's a zip here and there's a zip here. Um, the hit score visualizer and then also the katana from these two users. So let's go ahead and download both and then try to put them straight into beat on on the desktop version here. Okay, just to show you uh, the hit score visualizer, all we have to do is move it here, drag it here from the desktop, zipped up and everything. You don't even have to worry about unzipping it. And then dragged it in, said mod installed, hit score visualizer. So very easy process. I love how easy this is because before you might've had to you know, type in some actual code to the PowerShell or, you know, command prompt. And that was a little bit daunting. It's pretty easy, but still this is so much simpler, which is nice. And now they have a button here called to sync to Beat Saber. So we're gonna be updating the configuration. Okay, now it says Beat Saber synced. So I think we are good to go inside the headset maybe. Yep, and we can even go to mods here and we have the hit score visualizer and the Katana Sabers one. So. Let's try to go into Beat Saber right now. Okay, so we're just gonna go to a classic song. Beat Saber, we'll do easy. You know, that's like my my level. Oh man, here they are. Whoa, okay. That was super easy. I, I was expecting a little bit more setup and stuff than, than that. And everything is running very nice as well, nice and smooth. 
Oh, divine. <laughs> I said my hit was divine. Sugar Crush. Oh, Moonstruck. Get really intense here. <laughs> this is really good. The sabers look really good. Can I pause it and... Okay, they go away. They did that in the other version too, but um, here they are. This is amazing. So easy. And uh, yeah, the game is not lagging at all. On my on my HTC Vive, they, it would lag a little bit if I had too many um, mods. So we'll see how the Quest does with too many mods. They might put a limit on it. But other than that, it's looking amazing. And now we should probably try some uh, custom songs. Oh, that's right. So if you want to install custom songs on your Oculus Quest, you're gonna to have to go to the Beat On app inside of the Unknown apps. So, okay, look at that. So we have, all right, let's go to Solo, and then we have custom songs right here, and the calling from the Fat Rat. That is amazing, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. So you can do it anywhere. I don't have to have my laptop with me. So I can go, you know, go anywhere, download a few songs, some mods when they come out, nothing, you no cable required. That is awesome. I mean, obviously you have to, oh, there's the preview as well. Obviously you have to have the cable to get this app onto your Quest, but you don't need to plug it in every time, which is very nice, very wireless. Goes along with the Quest. All right. Oh, and it's a challenging map, I love these. Now I'm like seeing how bad my hits are sometimes. Oh, oh, barely got that one. It's running very smoothly. And they even did like the custom light show I could see in the background. And I completely missed that one. Hopefully the recording is high resolution as well. Like I mentioned, I upgraded it in the side quest app. Also, if you're wondering what all these letters and colors mean in the words, it, it's depending on how you're hitting it, like your accuracy, your points. So if you get red, that means you barely hit it and probably missed a lot of the note. If you get green, then you're doing really good. If you get white with the underline, then that means you perfectly hit it. Your swing was perfect and your hit down the middle was perfect. So it's a good advanced tool if you want to upgrade your game. Look at these sabers, really, really cool. These will be the sabers that are known forever to be the first sabers to come out to the Oculus Quest. Like, they're literally making history right now. With over one million people buying the Quest, you know, before 2020, this is, these things are gonna be the first ever to come out. It's really an honor to be here. <laughs> well guys, that is it for this exciting new Oculus Quest and Beat Saber video here on Gamer Reality. I'm gonna say it again because I think it is amazing that they have something like this for the Oculus Quest and Beat Saber already. It's just absolutely fantastic and exciting. I'm excited for what they're gonna bring. <laughs> they do have to bring all the mods over to a Quest compatible version, probably reducing Polygon Cow and such, but it is coming. All the other mods are coming. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to me, Gamer Reality, down below. I would really appreciate it and you would be able to see awesome videos on virtual reality and especially on the Oculus Quest. Thanks for watching and I cannot wait to see you in another video.